Inside the K-Rock Center, the first group of women's competitors have taken the ice for warm-up. The order of skate for Group 1 is as follows. Skating first from the United States, Alexa Gillis, followed by Spain's Sonia Lafuente. Then Valentina Marquez of Italy skates third, followed by Fumia Suguri of Japan, who will skate fourth. And Miriam Samson of Canada will round out the first five skaters. So a whole lot of stuff to fit into four minutes, plus or minus 10 seconds. First skater to take the ice in the, women, in the ladies' free skate. Uh, this is Alexa Gillis, coached by Tom Zakrychek and Becky Calvin. Her free program choreographed by Lori Nickel. She's skating to Adagio from the Queen Symphony and Nocturne from Bohemian Rhapsody. Alexei is sitting in 11th place after the short program. This is her first trip to Skate Canada. Gorgeous triple up. At Amway, our positive outlook. Kind of strange. That was supposed to be a double axle triple toe loop in combination. It turned out to be a waltz jump triple toe loop. Seemed to be a little bit tentative in the approach to that triple flip. Beautiful line in that spiral. Showcasing her flexibility. Very clear under ro rotation in that jump. What I like about Alexi skating is that she really perseveres. Nice tidy triple sal.
Ladies and gentlemen, from the United States of America. A somewhat Alexa inconsistent Gillis. performance from American Alexa Gillis. So David, as we were watching Alexa Gillis, what are your impressions? Well, people have to know that there's there's two two different kind of falls. There's a fall that you know happens in a jump where you get all the rotation in, and sometimes you fall. It just happens for a different reason. But there's also the fall that happens when your jump is under rotated, and these are the one that cause the most of the body. You, you get more tired, and so she had a few of those, maybe two, and. What I was impressed with, even though she had those kind of falls, this is one of them, that's very taxing on the body. Even though these fall happens in her program, she still managed to do beautiful jumps after these fall, like this series of se sequence of jump, triple toe, double toe, double loop. And I remember also by the end of the program, this beautiful triple style that she pulled out. I guess what I would like to see is perhaps a bit more energy. It looks to me as if she's somehow not quite as conditioned as she needs to be in order to really get the let out for the full 40 uh, full four minutes she had a score of 41.02 in the short this is Sonia Lafuente getting ready to take her position for her program she skates next the scores please for Alexei Gillis of the United States of America the free program score 84.62 for a total score of 125.64. So a free skate score of 84.62 and an overall score of 125.64 for Alexa Gillis. The next competitor represents Spain, Sonia La Fuente. Sonia La Fuente, a junior national champion for Spain in 2009 competed at the Olympic Games where she finished in 22nd place, improved her finish at Worlds with a 20th place finish. First trip to Skate Canada, she arrived a day before her skates did. <laughs> which is the perils of traveling with your skates and checked luggage. Now, Sonia, coached by Ivan Saez and Carolina Sanz, choreographers are Romain Hagenauer and Ivan Saez, skating to Les Miserables. Sonia sits in 10th place after the short program. I really like the dress. You won't hear me say that too often, but I really like that dress. Very good compliment to the music. Wow, great technique on that loop. Great patience on that back edge. And a snap into the air and into the rotation. So what went wrong on that triple cell? I think the weight, her entire weight on that back edge before she took off was a little too far back. That's why she sat on that edge when she landed that jump. Skating is like walking. You always want to walk and skate a little bit forward. You never see anybody walk or skate too much back on the heels. So every time you want to take off for a jump, you want your weight in front of the blade. When you take off, it's still in front. So when you land, the weight is also in front. She has a wonderful aerial position in the jumps. Very fast rotation.
beautiful double axle, double toe combination. Earlier in the day, we talked about this kind of skaters that let the audience in their performance. She, although she, I, I think she's got beautiful jumping ability, could use a little bit of that. She's looking down a lot between the elements and the footwork. You gotta make, uh, you want to make eye contact with the audience. Easier said than done. This is a very triumphant piece of music and to have her expression fall flat, like you say, really takes away from the performance and actually almost makes me forget about the quality of those jumps. Always makes you forget also the quality of the music. Sonia La Fuente of Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, first 18 day, years Sonia old. La Looking Fuente. forward to seeing those replays. <laughs> Sonia La Fuente back in the kiss and cry going over her program with her coach. What are your impressions, David? Great jumper. You just need to attach a performance to the jumps now. How'd you like to share your comments about that jump technique? Well, I, I just like her free leg on the landing. You could see, like, the free leg is attached to the other one, and then just as soon as you're really, uh, ready to touch the ice, it has to come up and around. And she has this beautiful natural ability to do that. So she's good at combining these triple with double toes or eventually a triple toe. It's almost as if her face says that she's thinking through the entire program all of the time as if she's not exactly sure what step step comes next. It's much more fun to watch a skater who just flows through the program. The scores, please, for Sonia La Fuente as if it's a natural stage. extension of what they would the normally do. Program score. 88.44 for a total score of 131. Free skate score of 88.44 added to the short program score of 42.76 for an overall total of 131.20, putting Sonia La Fuente in the lead. Two skaters down, nine more to come. Representing Italy, Valentina Marchei. Valentina Marquet is our next skater, represents Italy. Currently in ninth place, Valentina is coached by Nikolai Morozov and Didier Lucine. Her choreographers, Nikolai Morozov and Walter Rizzo. She's skating to Deflator Mouse by Johann Strauss. National Italian champion, she was eighth at the European Championships. Can be plagued with nerve problems although is a huge jumper. As you said, she is a huge jumper. That triple lutz was enormous. Very close to the side of the boards. You know, she was gathering speed for that jump. She touched a board. And I think she Distract. singled that one 
just because she was too close to the board. She saw the board coming and made her panic. So as soon as she turned, she said, I got to put my pick in the ice and get that job done because it's not going to happen. And then she panicked and she singled it probably because of that. This is a skater for whom everything has to be 100% perfect. The stars need to be aligned in order for her to have her best skate. It's too bad, very talented. But you can almost feel the adrenaline coursing through the television screen. She doesn't have what we call a fast twitch. The speed you can get into the rotation. So she needs that speed and that height in her jump in order for her to complete her rotations. You can capitalize on a beautiful body line when you have long limbs, long legs, long arms like Valentina has. It can make the technique for the jumps a little bit more complicated. Go, go. Wow. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I'm not sure that I can match Deflator Mouse with uh, this particular skater. I think I'd like to see something a little bit more modern. She has a bit of an edgier look. Her look says she's Ladies a little bit uncertain about that per Italy, particular Valentina performance. Marque. This is Italy's Valentina Marquet. <laughs> Valentina Marquet flanked by coaches Nikolai Morozov on the left and Walter Rizzo on the right. David, I like to play a little game where I like to not have the music and be able to tell from the costuming and the choreography and the type of movement on the ice, what I'm listening to. That did not say Deflator Mouse. What about you? <laughs> I don't know if I want to play that game. Um, <laughs> listen, these, these jumps are just fantastic. If I they had to are. tell her one thing, only maybe one thing that she can do for her next competition, stop telegraphing these jumps so much. That's the weight that it takes once you gather the speed she waits and she waits and she waits and she waits and she just jumps too close to the board. Not only that, it's not me that wants that, the judges want that, you know? They want to see step, step, step. Less telegraphing is always a good choreography and it's just the wait is too long. We are in essence, believe it or not, playing the same game and that is that you should be able to get some sort of a feel for what it is that she's trying to express. I felt that this program was somewhat expressionless um, and I think that this skater is capable of much more. The scores, please, for Valentina Marquez. Score to beat is 131.20 points. 
held by Sonia La Fuente of Spain. 92.21 is the free skate score for Valentina Marquet, added to her short program score of 45.57 for a total of 137.78, moving her into the lead ahead of Spain's Sonia La Fuente. The next competitor represents Japan, Fumie Suguri. This is Japan's Fumie Suguri. Fumie is the oldest skater in the event, youngest skater in Skate Canada, also in the same women's event. Agnes Sawatsky from the United States, she comes up later. Fumie is coached by Igor Pashkevich and Noriko Sato. Her choreographers, Vaktang Murvanadze and Lori Nicol. Skating to Song of Scheherazade and Bagao's Dance from the Alexander soundtrack. Fumia sits in eighth place after the short program, has been as high as second in the world in 2006, looking to get back to that level. I like the fact that she was able to regain control of that free leg on that triple lutz before executing the double toe. a little under rotated her first triple lutz might have been also a little under rotated i was a little suspicious also of the entry edge being to the inside rather than the outside edge Second triple Lutz. She might have been early with that toe pick going in. That was a double side call instead of Very long way on that one foot, earning the extra bullet in the straight line step sequence. What Fumia seems to be lacking in this program, though, is really the polish that I used to be able to really appreciate in the skater. She just looks rushed and a little bit harried and not pay, paying close enough attention to free leg extension, use of the upper body.
Ladies and gentlemen, from Japan, Fumie Suguri. Fumie Suguri of Japan with a somewhat inconsistent performance at Skate Canada International. Fumie Suguri of Japan in days gone by was an absolutely uh, a spectacular skater, a real world beater. So what's happened to her now? What did you see in this free skate performance, David? Well, I remember her at her prime and obviously technically, technically this is way below her prime. Like, not sure if that was short, but she gets 70% if they decide anyway, if it was short or not. What's nice to see, I have to say, the fundamentals of, of skating are still there. And she, she was known to be one of these skaters that had all the basic, the quality of her glide is still there. It's it's nice to see, but obviously this is, you know, jumping is a huge part of the sport and the jumps were just, they're just not there. Uh, there's, it's not from a lack of speed, it's not from a lack of height. Um, I, I'm, it's hard to see, it's hard to see because she just had such a knees when she was doing these jumps and now it's just lacking a little bit of uh, oomph. Well, she used to have, in my opinion, one of the biggest triple lutzes in the women's field. And to me, it looks sort of like a, almost a, a second thought. I, I, I don't know what I would advise to her, but we'll have to see what the judges say. The free program score, 84.67 for a total score of one. Free skate score of 84.67. Added to her 48.17 score for the short program, score of 132.84. She'll drop a couple of places. Overall. On the ice warming up is group two, and here is the order of skate. Skating first from Japan, Haruka Imai, followed by Canada's Amelie Lacoste. Then from the United States, Alyssa Sisney, followed by teammate Agnes Sawatsky. We will be skating fourth and skating fifth, Ksenia Makarova. Final competitor of the evening will be Cynthia Feneff of Canada. Getting last minute instructions from her coach, Haruka Imai of Japan. Makes her home in Tokyo. Coached by Hiroshi Nagakubo, Miho Kawauma, and Yoriko Naruse. Choreographers are Miho Kawaume, M. Kawagoe, and Natalia Bastemanova and Igor Bobrin. She's skating to Polovetsian Dances by Alexander Borodin. Ranked fifth at the Four Continents Championships, she is Japan's national silver junior medalist. First trip to Skate Canada. Dear me, she looks young. How old is she? Just turned 17. Double axle, triple two. Pretty nice way to start a program. That's a combination we don't see too often. Triple Lutz, that's an example of what you were talking about in terms of telegraphing a jump, sitting on that outside edge for a very long time before the takeoff. There's nothing young about her technique. No, it's... She looks like she's been doing those jumps for years. speaks to the depth in the women's field in Japanese skating today. What do you think about the speed, David? <laughs> well, she's not, she's not lacking in it. Now, what happened there with that triple loop? Because it was fully rotated, it looked like to me. 
Well, the loop is a funny jump. It's the one where you have to be the most patient in, but sometimes when you're too patient, that shoulder falls into the circle, which affects, obviously, the landing. Much better on that one. If you want to land those jumps, your shoulder must remain level. I would have liked it if she had been able to capitalize a little bit more on the texture of this music. I find that the program is fairly one-dimensional. difference you'll see between her skating and maybe Cynthia Faneuf skating you know you can see she's doing those moves or she moves her arms because somebody told her to instead of something that comes from the inside that you feel like doing you let your body talk to the sound of the music that's a very poetic way of saying it and it's absolutely right on the money from Japan, Haruka Imai. This is Haruka Imai of Japan. Very solid first outing at Skate Canada International. A very happy Haruka Imai from Japan being greeted by her coach. So, my first impression about this skater, great speed, wonderful sense of attack to the jumps. What did you think, David? Well, mostly what we were talking about earlier, where, you know, these, these movements have to come from you and not from somebody telling you. And I think every, it's quite normal at this age that, you know, she'll do whatever is told. She needs to find a choreographer, and with maturity, a choreographer that will get that out of her. Especially being able to do a uh, double axle triple toe and then that triple lutz. There's the triple flip. She clearly has an arsenal of very secure jumps to be able to bring to the table. There's absolutely no reason to believe that she won't belong to the top. Half the battle is won. She's got the jump. And some nice quality in her spins as well. And all of that will improve. Her jumps will improve, her spin will improve. The day she'll understand why she's skating. Why she's doing this arm movement. Canadian Amelie Lacoste taking the ice. She will be next up to skate. But first, Haruka Imai's jumps. So on the world stage, David, do you think that Imai is a name that we're going to want to watch for? Oh, absolutely. Give her two years. The scores, please, for Haruka Imai of Japan. She'll get better with every competition that she will have under her belt. The free program score, 102.02 for a total score of 102.02. So a score of 102.02 is the highest free skate score Haruka so far with a score of 52.52 in the short. Makes for 154.54. She takes over the lead by just over two points. 